Hey guys, another day, another vlog, another documenting my day. So let's see, I have, I'm gonna look at my computer here for a second. What have I done for today? What have I done for today? Okay, so today I did my morning routine and I jumped into something I haven't done in a very long time. I started making actual video content. So not like vlogs, but like, you know, five things to do this to promote my business. And I haven't done it in years, but I think it was yesterday or the day before, I don't remember which. Yesterday or the day before, basically, I had gone onto the YouTube page and discovered that I had two videos that had, one of them had 2.5 thousand, the other had 2.3 thousand views, and they were videos from like two years ago when I was just starting out and still very new to the whole filming thing, not the, not the coaching thing, but the filming thing, and I guess I did something right. Uh, because my average YouTube video was about 17 views. It wasn't, it was nothing impressive, but what I figured out from that massive time lapse, what separated those two videos from everything else basically, was that I had put those on Reddit. I had put them out there into the ether of the internet basically, and they blew up. I, I started getting subscriptions because of those two videos in particular. Nobody else was watching any of my other shit, and I used to think it was because I was amateur and didn't know what I was doing, and my content, like, eh, it was, like, I knew what I was talking about, but, like, the quality was, was shit. And what this pretty much told me was that people don't really care about quality as much as they do content, provided that you can put it in front of their face, which is ultimately marketing. And I marketed those two right kind of on accident, I guess. So I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna I'm gonna find some more Reddit threads to to follow and upload videos on and maybe post these documentaries. Who knows? But yeah, that seemed to work. So that inspired me to kick back that that idea because once I stopped doing that, I just went straight into Facebook. I pretty much gave up on YouTube. And looking back and seeing how that worked out, it's kind of dumb. Um, so I'm gonna get back into it. I learned my lesson for sure, and I'm I'm really eager to see how with all my knowledge now, two years later, uh, I can promote this business and promote this channel and continue to provide awesome content for you guys. So yeah, I drafted the content for the video basically and sneak peek it was. Um, if you're tired of men, here's what to do about it. And it's basically four steps detailing, four simple steps detailing how you can overcome men that are just irritating you. To start finding men that you enjoy hanging around with, that you might actually want to date. That's exciting. Filmed that today, I'm gonna edit that. Uh, and then I'm gonna edit yesterday's video because I didn't get a chance to do that. Immediately after work, I went to a uh, Toastmasters meeting just to give it a try to, you know, further my growth and knowledge and my ability to be a public speaker and hopefully cut my editing time and half <laughs> and be, you know, better on stage and, and improve that skill set as a whole. But unfortunately, I didn't love it too much. That Toastmasters group was a little, they were quirky um, and I appreciated it. I loved them for it, but I didn't feel at home. I didn't like the style or the environment. Like, it just didn't feel me. And so while I sincerely appreciate that they had culture, it was kind of one of those like, ah, I'm glad I tried it, probably won't go back. So I'm just going to continue to prove my my skill set here on uh, on these videos in this vlog. And what else? I feel like I had one more thing to detail. Oh, yeah, so my sister had a migraine. She's 10 years old, and I basically kind of laid down with her and, and tried tried to make her feel better and incidentally fell asleep a little earlier than I intended. So I didn't get much work done yesterday, but I was able to be there for my sister and I felt good. And so, yeah, here we are, kicking the day off, doing good. It's not even noon yet and I've accomplished quite a bit. So I'm excited to see what more I can accomplish and how much more I can uh, do. And uh, I have to take my doctor, <laughs> take my doctor. I have to take my sister to a doctor appointment later today when she gets off of school. So yeah, that's about my day so far, and I look forward to seeing what comes about my day. So I'm off to take my sister, pick my sister up from school. I was in the process of editing a video, and that shit is exhausting. So it was a good break. I'm gonna take her to the doctor's office, and we'll go from there. Keep doing work. Just sitting here in bed, exhausted. Um, I've had very little downtime today, and even then, that downtime consisted of work. So, my day's been going as planned, which is amazing. I'm super happy right now. I'm tired, but I'm super happy right now. Finished uploading yesterday's blog. Hopefully I can edit this content today and upload it ready tomorrow. 
Hopefully I can upload this content today so it's ready to upload tomorrow. Staying on track, uh, I have to fix up the YouTube channel. I haven't touched it in years, so that's gonna be fun. Basically going back and cleaning it up and making sure everything's up to date. I also still have to edit the uh, video content I made earlier and then upload that hopefully today. So we'll get the ball rolling on that. But yeah, everything's moving along. Starting to schedule some business meetings with the new shoe company and I am making strides. I uploaded a lot of my handles so it's now Coach Christopher Isaac on my Instagram, on my Facebook, as well as medium.com. So that's exciting. It's a little bit more professional than the last one. Uh, the last one was The Seduction Coach, because when I first started the company, I was initially trained as a dating coach. And since I marketed to women, I was like, oh, well, I won't be a dating coach per se. I'll be a seduction coach for women. I'll teach women, you know, seduction. And it just kind of didn't market well, um, but I never changed it. So I finally changed it. It is now Coach Christopher Isaac throughout my social media. Instagram, Facebook, and Medium.com. Coach Christopher Isaac. Making a lot of moves, making a lot of changes. It feels really good. I'm really tired. It's about 11.30 right now. Still working. I've been up since about 6. Pretty much been working nonstop all day. Super proud of it, actually. I'm, uh, I'm really tired, but I'm still, still happy to keep working, which is a very new feeling for me. But since my last update, I've had a business meeting regarding the shoe company, and then I tried to edit a content video that I'm going to be posting soon. It's uh, The raw footage was about 16 minutes long, and what I found was that when I imported it into the video editing software, which is uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, it would inevitably, after after about a minute, my audio stopped being synced with, with the video. And I was like, that's weird. So I went back to the raw footage that wasn't imported yet. Um, this is lingo for people that know editing. If you don't, don't worry about it. But um, I would go back to the original footage and everything was synced. And I was like, it's so weird. So I had to research it. And as it turns out, my phone will periodically change the, f the rate at which frames are being recorded. But weirdly, phones kind of, I guess, record at different frame rates, so it adjusts for some random reason. So, concerned that that video footage was a lost cause and that my camera is no longer useful, I kept doing some research and it turns out that there's another program I can download that will change the frame rate of a video and reduce its, its size. Let's say one video is a, a gigabyte. It'll reduce it down to like nine megs, uh, megabytes, which is insanely low and ridiculous. But based on uh, what I was able to research and the fact that it just finished adjusting through that program, long story short, I saved the video. <laughs> let's, let's keep it simple. I saved the video. It took about 30 minutes. I used that time to listen to some, some content for the, the Robbins Madonna's training that I'm taking currently. And that was a pretty good use of time. I did learn some things. It's a coaching cert that I'm currently taking through the Tony Robbins company. Officially, it's called Robbins Madonna. Donna's training. I was able to learn some things while s stuff was happening in the background that I could do nothing about. So still being productive even at 11.30. Probably going to edit that video right now, hopefully get it done and upload it into YouTube before I go to bed. So that's the game plan. And then I'm going to crash. But yes, been crushing it all day. Super proud, super tired. Feels good. For the first time in my life, I know what it feels like to be pulled by something rather than pushed to do something. My whole life, I've always felt that I need to push myself to do it. And for the first time in my life, like truly no exaggeration, for the first time in my life, I'm being pulled. Like I am tired and I, I have no desire to stop. I'm really, really happy. I'm content with this tiredness. Like it's not going to stop me. I feel good. So it's a good feeling. It's a new feeling and I like it a lot.